Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. If you have not heard the news <laughs> just yet, our very own Savannah Guthrie right here, she has her very own Netflix show now. And it's streaming right. as we yeah. speak. Yes. Don't stream it now. Right. Yeah. Watch the show, but stream right after. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's an animated children's series called Princess Power, inspired by the Princesses Wear Pants books. And it's co-produced by Hollywood royalty, actress and talk show host, our friend Drew Barrymore. Yes, uh, Chanel actually got a chance to sit down with I this did. lovely lady bizarre, and Drew, right. too. It How was it? It's actually fun. It's like, okay, Savannah, you sit there, I'll interview you. And then <laughs> yeah. now I'm talking about it, and she's right over there. But it's okay. <laughs> so weird. Princess Power is not only about female, friendship, but also the idea that people are stronger when they work together. And after spending time with these real-life friends, Savannah and Drew, you know that is certainly true, especially for this dynamic duo. Shall we talk about Princess Power now? Let's talk about it. Definitely. That is indeed the inspiration behind Princess Power, the new Netflix kids show produced by Savannah and actress Drew Barrymore, jumping in to help your friends no matter their differences. For me, it's fun because it shows little girls, listen, you can still be sparkly and dazzly, but you can also be brave. You can be a good friend. You can be a good leader. You get an A plus Chanel. Yeah. The one thing you said um, that spoke out the most to me is uh, being a good friend mm -hmm. and how I do consider that a superpower. I love how it's a empowering to girls individually but collectively. These girls yeah. are not in competition. Mm -hmm. They are supporting each other. One has a talent, the other has a challenge. We all know that that's what makes the world go round for all of us as women, mm -hmm. our girlfriends, our friends, that tribe, mom friends, friend friends, work friends. This is how we thrive. And Savannah recognized the need for a new approach to princesses when her own daughter, Vale, went through her princess phase. It would inspire her to write what would become the New York Times best-selling book series, Princesses Wear Pants. Before this, if you just say the word princess, I automatically have this vision in my head of what a princess is supposed to be, right? This almost kind of starts to change the narrative of what a princess can be. I agree. Yes, mm. but what we were trying to say is you can be frilly, you can love clothes, you can be razzle-dazzle, you can have the glitter, but make sure you have substance on the inside. Mm. So sparkle on the outside, sparkle on the inside. And I think there are princesses out there who are associated with strength. What about Ever After? Hi, that yes. has changed my life. Wanting to be a different kind of princess is not new to Drew, who in 1998 starred in a Cinderella adaptation called Ever After. I thought, oh, you're the princess. You wait to be rescued. That's how the fairy tale goes. And the film is about, no, you rescue yourself. You want the fairy tale, but you get yourself um, to that fairy tale. Also in the realm of fairy tales, Princess Power has a dream cast, including legendary EGOT winner and icon Rita Moreno. Penny, I'm not asking for perfection. When they said Rita Moreno was going to be in this show, she's playing Grand Lady Busy Boots, who's like the matriarch and the queen of the Pineapple Kingdom. I mean, you could wipe me off the floor of shock and joy. And speaking of joy, Savannah and Drew have been fast friends for over eight years. This friendship, how did this and where did this happen? Love at first sight. It was love at first sight. We it met, happened just like boom. this. We were doing a piece. Um, On your memoir. Yeah. I came to interview you. And it was the electric connection. <laughs> we that had a soul so sweet. connection. And Drew cultivates her friendship. She waters those flowers. It m means a lot to her. And so. So do you. We kept in touch and we meet uh, we hang out we'll go out for a drink after work or i've come to your house for the weekend oh, yeah. um we're hanging out today That's after so after and work I... should we tell her what I... we're doing yeah go for it what are you doing Do it. tell me we're getting a tattoo <laughs> today like you're gonna have one half and then she has the other no <laughs> oh. oh maybe if there's time <laughs> She has a very special one that she's getting. Okay. Um, and Drew has, you are and mine's experienced. Very significant. Yeah, this is my uh, like 11th or 12th. And oh, this is your... I've never had a tattoo. I know, it's really scary. I can't believe I'm doing it. I mean, I haven't told anyone. So by the time this piece airs, will you be tatted? Yeah. Yeah. And before I let you go, Drew, your talk show, The Drew Barrymore Show, was just renewed for a fourth season. Yay! Drew works okay, listen, so hard on the show. She pours her whole self and her whole heart into it. I remember the time 
You said, let's meet for coffee. I have something to tell you. You were the first person I told. She said, I got a show. I know how much it means to you. But I think Savannah's books really sparked that idea of we need the green light. We need the green light as girls that we can do not only anything, but things in general. And do it on your terms. Be a princess. Be a princess who wears pants. There is no rule book. Do it just the way you want to do it. Be yourself and pursue your dreams. That's what it's all about. Let's go! You did it! And Great we're wearing job, pants. <laughs> Sorority. I have to tell you, when I, Drew and I were like doing these interviews, we walked in and I said, oh, this is the Today Show. We, we get to be with Chanel. I said, have you ever met Chanel? She goes, the Chanel? Oh, <laughs> she really did. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know what you're talking on and on know, about right? because That's there's only tattoo. one thing, only one oh, question. Right. America has to see it. Tattoo. tattoo. Wait, let's do it. Where America is it? America has to see it. No one's seen it. Oh, 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 oh wait. Fresh. This is it in wait. process. Oh, I did it. So oh. tell everybody. It's okay, fresh. so we did it yesterday. Yeah. Me and Drew. Oh, wait. It has a bandage on it. Okay, the pictures are better, but yeah. here. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, we did it. So it says Feldman? No, <laughs> that's what Mike said. He goes, did you get the mic with the heart on it? This is an there exact is. carbon copy of um, my father's handwriting, oh. All My Love. Mm. He wrote a love letter to my mom, and mm. this is his writing. Oh. And so that's the first time in my life, I'm 51 years old, that I've had a tattoo <laughs> that I ever wanted a tattoo. Mm. And it's not only his writing, so he's with me, but it's I'm trying to make it my mantra for life. Tell other people love. out there who are always ask me what it feels like to get a tattoo. From oh your standpoint, you've never had one. Dead. How much did it hurt? It didn't hurt that much at all. I mean, really? you know, no, it was like a little pinprick. It's just a single needle. It'll actually end up being a lot a little bit lighter than this yeah. i can't believe it either my i mean i actually haven't told my mom, <laughs> mom okay. i got a tattoo you just did but we did it and then drew i mean i'll let her tell her story but she got the three sardines that um that's for her olive and frankie and, her kids they're like and by the so way what a way to cute. mark such an important day yes. because to have this netflix series dropping yesterday as my kids are very well yeah. aware and for you guys to have this friendship it's like the cherry on top it's so fun it's and cool. you know we have been talking about doing this for like yeah. a year but then we finally we're like let's just do it that day we it. know we'll You're be there yes anyway last night she texted me she goes we did a thing <laughs> we i'm did like we thing. sure did and do you a watch thing. It, the yeah. intention is there you yeah. feel the good vibes the that show. are from the root of oh. yeah so it's and just it's gonna blossom and rita moreno and oh. who, you know, i mean you have a cameo. oh wait, yeah tan france is in okay. it drew has a drew's, as, a, drew's got a role i have a cameo as yeah. a reporter huh. Su susie seed planter i need to see more of you and drew i'm intrigued by that i need to remake thelma and louise Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. But with a happy oh, oh, I tried to get a cameo in Charlie's Angel 4 or whatever. <laughs> Very cool. Congratulations. Way to go. Thank Way you. Go, girl. Thank Charlie's you Angels and Savannah Guthrie. No, exactly. Not a, not a, no, no angel. Uh, not with this right. tattoo. Yeah. Now I'm a bad girl. Oh, yeah. Happy to get you a Harley. Or a bad yeah. girl. Right. Up next. Thanks, guys. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day. Or click the link right here.